Mike, with all the injuries, the fact that you were at least throwing toward the end zone was a chance in this game, uh, a sign of the fight in this team? They fight. They fight, and I appreciate it. It just comes down to the consistency. I know that that sounds like a broken record uh, for me, but you know, with where we're at right now, you just you know, I think the margin for error is pretty thin. You know, so when you uh, give up some plays defensively, some X plays, and turn the ball over, you know, no moral victories. I'm disappointed. They're disappointed, but you know I think they they fight and they compete, which I'm, I'm appreciative of. How big a momentum swing was the fumble? I mean, we, we've done that. Um, you know, defensively, be able to go out there and um, you know force some you know sudden change. We've had some opportunities this year where we've done done well. You know, I thought the way we started the second half was inspiring. I thought guys were you know clearly locked in and ready to go. Um, you know, and then you know, guy made a good play, and then. You know, we got to find ways to get everybody to protect the guy with the ball. That's, you know, when guys come in from behind, that's, that's somehow sometimes when, when fumbles occur. So we have to do a better job of making sure that guys are, you know, chasing and trying to protect the guy with the football. Two plays against kind of, Roger, kind of, Mike, in, in, the, in their last series. First one didn't seem to turn his head at all. Second one maybe, maybe late. Technique error that can't be happening at this stage? I mean, we'll take a look at it. I mean, he got beat. The guy got behind him. Turn his head. And you kind of touched on it, Mike, with the turnovers, but this team maybe not good enough to be able to overcome, you know, whether it's Derek's fumble or Valique's interceptions or maybe a Zach Cunningham dropped interception. Well, I mean, where we are, where we are. We're getting, you know, we'll figure out the 48 guys that we got for Thursday night. And, uh, but no, I mean, we're not, we're not built right now to, to be able to overcome those things. Um, just said the margin for error is very, very thin. Um, you know, so we'll keep, We'll keep trying to, uh, you know, improve those things, the consistency, the ability to sustain drives, um, the ability to try to create turnovers, things that you know, we would need to do right now. Mike, that interception, Mike, uh, you guys are up 14 times at that point. looks like maybe a little momentum. How big, a, you know, the drive there, you go four and out. A bit of a turning point as far as momentum in the game, do you think? Just, you know, all the turnovers are, are critical and costly. Uh, you know, it was great to see us try to get into a flow and get into a rhythm offensively and be able to, to use Derek. And, um, you know, there was times where it was pretty complimentary, um, you know, and then times where it just looked, you know, like we weren't, you know, all on the same page in all three phases just from the standpoint of trying to complement each other short field, you know, taking advantage of it when we did, which was great. And then, you know, turnovers, you know, are going to catch up to you. Mike, now that you know that the finale at Jacksonville is for the division, does that change at all how you look at the next few days? And well, I mean, I think it, ha it probably will. I mean, we got some guys that have played a lot of football for us that are, are far less than 100%. And it's those guys that I appreciate that, that no matter what, find a way to be here, um, you know, for this team. So we'll try to you know, figure out who we uh, who we have and who's available, and then make some decisions. Did you see more improvement from Malik today than, than the last time out. Uh, I think they're probably you know, maybe took some step back since you know took a few step back in some areas, um, but then I think he settled down and it looked okay. And then you know just again some of the situational work you know showed up there. You know, late, uh, but being able to extend some plays and you know make a few plays, we just again have to be better with the football. How did you like what uh, Deniva Archery was able to do in his return? It's been what four games since he's, he's played. Yeah, and we need everybody that could potentially make a play for us in all three phases uh, to be available here the last couple of weeks. Do you feel like there's like a different energy or, or a spark or something that he brings when he's out there for you guys? Only when you're making plays, which he did today. You know, I mean, it's just. I mean, they're not not going to get energy from guys that just come here and show up and have to come and and make plays and be productive and affect the game. Hey, would you tell the guys, Mike, after you got a holiday tomorrow and in a short week of trying to get rid of plays? I just, just told them to make sure that they get around people that they, they care about and that they love because those are the only ones that are going to 
you know, give us a chance. Um, you know, remember the people that, you know, that text you when you lose. Everybody texts when you win. Um, try to give them the day off tomorrow to, to recover and be with their family. Um, and then get back to work at 10.30 on Monday. You got that energy that, that you've kind of been looking for and you mentioned it at the beginning of the second half. The inability to carry that into anything concerning, disappointing? Other than just when you lose, it's concerning and disappointing. Uh, you know, everybody puts a lot into it. Um, you know, the ups and the downs in the game, and I thought, again, we continue to battle. It's just disappointing uh, to lose. Where, where do you want guys to, to find hope or expectation out of, out of this losing streak? Well, because there's so many plays in the course of, of this, these last five games. You know, it really just comes down to consistency, um, striving for that, you know, penalties and things that are avoidable, lining up wrong, mental mistakes, the things that you know, we're, we can't do right now. Th those are the things we have to continue to show them. But then show them all the good things that they've done, the ability to, to, to run the football. We got into some rhythm, you know, hit, hit some cool plays, hit some, hit some big plays, hit a big run, you know, three and out, three and out, three and out, or then on defense, then it's, it's, it's long drives. It's either one or the other. It's either three plays or, you know, 10 plays um, or 13 plays or 11. I don't, there's nothing in between. Three, 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 you know, 13, 10. 11. So somewhere in between there uh, would be helpful. What's the challenge, Mike, I guess for you and the staff? you got, you got a game Thursday night, but the big one is the, is the following week. Uh, and you kind of touched on it, maybe alter how you play guys, but from a preparation standpoint or kind of establishing a mindset standpoint, what do you, what do, you do? The, the three minutes that I had to think about that since the game was over, I apologize. I don't have a really informed or knowledgeable answer for you. Probably go home and give it some thought. And uh, yeah, we have an obligation to this football team. But, uh, you know, make sure that we're prepared and that we do everything we can. So I don't know if I could you know, really you know, touch on that. We'll have to see who came out of the game with whatever injuries uh, and try to manage those. Would you say that this is the most Difficult time that you've encountered as a coach since you've been here. Uh, I mean, I think that that's part of the job. I think that's part of this uh, obligation to the football team is to try to be as honest as you can with them. Um, you know, try to recognize the difference between, you know, a guy making a mistake. You know, I mean, you hear, man, I hate losing. Now, I hate losing too. So maybe we should love preparing and love focusing um, before the game and doing as much as we possibly can so that we don't make mistakes in critical times or mental errors or things that could be avoid, avoided. Uh, as far as, you know, I mean, it's, it's part of the job. You know, it's, you know, it's rewarding watching guys succeed. That's why I do this and watching them develop and, and improve. Uh, you know, but the losses you know, certainly hurt. When you say maybe we should love preparing and, and doing the things before the game, are you saying that, that you may not have 100% buy-in? Well, it's not the buy-in. It's just, you know, how much are we doing outside of the time that we're at the facility? I don't know. You know what I mean? Those are questions that, you know, if they just, you know, if you as a professional athlete just work 8 to 4 or 8 to 4.30, and I don't know how much you get out of it. You know, maybe God gifted you with some really, really cool talents. You know, we just have to, you know, all do a little bit more. And that's, that's with me and the preparation, and that's with the coaches and the players and, you know, just a little bit more of everything. Do you have eight to four guys right now, Mike? No, I mean, you know, again, we just make sure that, you know, everybody's as committed as we, as we need to be. You know, we got a lot of moving parts. You know, I don't know if you – go ahead, Teresa. Let me – I'll answer one more question. The weather delay, uh, did that affect anything? It just, just no. timing or – no. You want another one? I don't know. Let's not waste it. The question, last question on a weather delay, an hour well, chill delay. Was there any damages in the parts of the building that you guys were operating in? 
that you had to work around? Damage? No. Okay. And there's no damage. They just, they wanted to, you know, I mean, we couldn't use some of the microwaves and stuff like that to heat, heat the coffees up or something. I don't know. Okay. The guy kind of seemed like he was in the, in the flat and jumped the route. It was an interception. How tough, Malik, uh, to, to lose this game after leading it, leading it late? Sir? How tough it to walk out of here with a loss after having an opportunity to win this game and leading late? I mean, it's always unfortunate, you know, come out of the game with a L, especially after uh, getting up early. Uh, but you just got to keep fighting, keep going, and on to the next. I mean, there's nothing we can do about it now. Uh, just learn from it. How big of a moment in this game when you guys get the pick from Gibby at the plus 50 and you get a chance to go up two scores at that point? Yeah, it was tough. We wanted to, uh, you know, we wanted to use that momentum off that sudden change, but it didn't work out like that. And we gave it right back to them, you know, the way the game go. You got to keep playing. Everybody's not, every play's not going to be great. Every drive's not going to be great. And there's a lot of new people in there, including myself, and we just got to continue to grow and get better. I mean, it is what it is. How comfortable were you once you got out there after having a week to kind of get ready for this after? I mean, I was fine, regardless of what you see on the stat line. I mean, the stat line. If you're looking at the stat line, I mean, you can go worry about your fantasy team, not real life. So, uh, other than that, I felt comfortable out there. I mean, we got some plays going early. Uh, penalties deferred us. I mean, they, they just knocked us off our what we was doing. They knocked us off our rhythm uh, in the second half. Just turnovers. I mean, that's the way the game goes. It, whoever doesn't turn the ball over, whoever gets the most completions, whoever gets the most first downs, they win the game. So. You just said don't look at the stat line, then you recited a bunch of stats, so, so they were important, yeah? I mean, you think so? I didn't recite stats. I mean, those aren't stats. Those are plays in the game. There's third and seven, you know. Are we going to put our defense back on the field after they just got off and have them tired trying to stop their offense who's been chilling? Or are we going to convert and just make it easier for our defense? These are moments. It's more than just a stat. Do you feel like you, you put forth a winning effort today, or you come up short? I think if we didn't win, no, I didn't. You know, we can do better. When you see what this defense is able to do, you know, in a game like this, like how much does that increase your respect for the guys on the other side of the ball, you know, in another portion of the team? I mean, I'm just blessed to have this opportunity to be on this team. So, and to see how those guys work week in and week out and uh, how they can show up to the game and play. And just put it all on the line for us. I mean, it's more than anything, I feel like I let those guys down. I kind of know Malik, I guess, for your kind of upbeat uh, personality. I mean, how important is it now maybe to inspire others to keep people from being down, you know, during a, a five-game losing streak? I mean, dude, it's football. I mean, you woke up this morning, I woke up this morning, so I'm just as happy as I would have been if we'd have won, you know. Yeah, it's unfortunate and it sucks that we lost, but, I mean, we have an opportunity to wake up tomorrow and learn from it and get better, and we still have everything we want in front of us, I mean. You could be a Debbie Downer about it. I mean, that's your perspective. But, I mean, we're blessed, bro. We still got everything we can want. And we have an opportunity to learn from something. I mean, that might be even better than going out there and doing what we wanted to today. Well, like, considering how much emphasis this team puts on turnovers and protecting the football and winning that battle, how much more frustrating does it make the last couple of weeks, at least in the division games, that you're minus five and that's it? I mean, it sucks, but what can you do? That's the past. You got to worry about keep going, keep playing. What, you can count to one at the end of the game on the Hail Mary. I mean, what you want to do? It just happens like that. So you can count to one on the it's double slants, but I mean, more than that, Malik, just keep going. I'm sorry. I was trying no, to finish. Sorry. I was, yeah, I was it's okay. I apologize, man. Um, just with the culture that's been built within this locker room for the past several years, do you guys feel in there that you have the confidence for the games down the stretch to make this run and still win the division? I mean, if we didn't, we wouldn't show up every day, you know? I mean, these guys work hard every day. You see them putting in the work, and at the end of the day, it's just sometimes you fall short. short. Everybody in this league is a good player. It's about what can your best players do on Sundays when it's game time, and whoever plays the best wins. That's just how the league's built. Everybody's a good player, so kudos to them. They played better today. On the, on the fumble, was there, was there anything in particular just get, did it get ripped out there on the, on the Yeah, trying to break a tackle, um, um, trying to fight for extra yards. I take care of the ball. We practice that. That's on me, no excuse. Organization puts a lot on me to you know, carry the ball and 
you know, I put a lot on my shoulders to, you know, do what I can for this team and, you know, and, and make plays. And, you know, there's three games in a row I fumbled the ball, no excuse, I need to be better. I'm taking care of the ball. That's what you're supposed to do as a running back. And um, these last three weeks, I have not done that. And um, got to get better, got to get back to work. I feel ter- terrible about it. I feel terrible until we, we play again. And, you know, it's just no excuse for it. I got to be better. And, um, you know, he just, he, he made a play and um, I didn't have the ball high and tight. After that play, you came back onto the field without the sleeves on. Was yeah. that to kind of get a better feel for the ball? Like, trying to find something, something, trying to find something. If that's the case, but, you know, at the end of the day, there's got to, you know, fighting for extra yards is knowing that, you know, people are going to be chasing from behind. I'm looking forward that um, they're going to try to get the ball out. And, you know, I was trying to break it, breaking a tackle. The guy came from behind and, you know, he, he, he raked it out. Like I said, no excuse. It's been three weeks in a row. I've been fumbling on the ball. So i got to find something different. And if I have to uh, drop the sleeves, that's what I'll do. But I think I'm going to do that just to see if it'll help change. But, you know, I'm very pissed about that. And, you know, I feel terrible. Apologize to my teammates because, you know, I gotta take care of the ball. Yeah, kind of difficult to stretch is this, is this is the most difficult stretch since you've been here and, and what can get this team out of it? I know if you knew you would fix it, but is it what needs to happen? Um yeah, uh, rally together. Um, you know, five in a row, very, very tough. Um and you know, is you try to find a find a words to say, but I think at the same time you gotta be positive. Um I think we you know, we have a, still have an opportunity in front of us. Got a short week, got to play Dallas, got to have a short memory. Um, but, you know, for me, it's definitely going to sting because, you know, I felt like we were in a position to go down and score and I didn't take care of the ball. But at the end of the day, um, you know, everybody who's the leader of this team, just do everything we can to rally the guys together and um, stay close and, you know, figure out a way to go out and get a win. You know, in a short week, you know, you just got to come back and be ready to work, you know, and um, I think that's. Try, try your best to do that. How hard is this on here. you? Because you didn't do a lot of losing at Alabama, and up until this year, you had y'all had done a lot of losing here either. Um, you know, it's always hard. You never want to lose. Um, you know, um, you know, losing five in a row is is tough. And um, you're just trying to find any way you can to, you know, be a better teammate, be a better leader. And um, you know, everybody just trying to work as hard as they can to get a win. When you come up short, I mean, yeah, it sucks. But at the end of the day, we still got two more games, and you know we got to come back in, like I said, on a short week, and you know figure out a way, um, go back to work. Said this for five weeks straight, but I mean that's just that's just what it is. But you know I'm definitely gonna put this one on me. I know I probably you know people get mad at me, but that's just that's just how I feel, you know. And um, you know, I pride myself on you know doing the best I can to help the team. And today, like I hurt the team, and I just gotta be better. Where do you, where do you find? Team hope and team expectation out of out of what you guys have done in the last five years. I think you just pulled the positivity things from this game, you know, because we had a lot of good things that we did, and um, look at those and just try to build off those. And we know the stuff that you know gets us beat, uh, hurts us in drive penalties, turnovers. You know, you can't do things like that, um, and you know, in, in a close game, and you know, to try to build the positive and, and and look at those things, and you know. See things that you know we can you know do do more of and try to go out there and execute the best way we can. Those things you, you mentioned, the bad things, seem to have become yeah, habit. Is for it, sure, it, for how, sure. How do you break out a bad habit? Well, me, I, for me, fumbling, I got just got to go back to work and work with Coach Dues and do whatever I can to not let that happen again. And us just being focused and locked in collectively as far as the penalties on offense and um, you know. Just, just working on everything we need. To, we need to do better on all three phases, and continue to you know push and have emphasis on those things, and continue to work hard. Just so you know, it helps when we come out on Sunday or, or the next game, which is Thursday. Were there similarities, Derek? You like, like you said, you know, for so long, rarely ever fumbled. But have you seen any similarities in the last three games in terms of the way the fumbles occurred? Or? Um, really, it's, it's come down to me taking care of the ball, and um, you know, I'm gonna try to. Work as hard as I can um, this upcoming week to, you know, try to prevent that from from, from happening. Um, it sucks, you know. I feel like crap right now, and uh, you know, just try to get better at it. I mean, you know, that's all that, that's all I can do. And um, you know, sorry to everybody out there that you know I've been lacking with the, the fumbles, but you know, I'm gonna do whatever I can to be better. Derek, ever since you've been here, this team has been really good at winning tight one 
score game mm-hmm. has completely flipped here recently. What's changed? Um, I mean, we just haven't executed um, as much as we, we need to. And I think sometimes we shoot ourselves in the foot with the turnovers and you know, self-inflicted wounds with penalties. Um, and, you know, um, you know, guys went down, but it's always the next, next man up mentality here. And, um, but I think, you know, really just <laughs> been going out there and playing our style of football. And I feel like we haven't done that, you know, sustained that when we're in the game. We know that outside of the building, there's a lot that you put into preparing for a game. Do you find a lot of the younger guys coming to you and asking what they could do as well? And if so, what do you tell them? Yeah, I mean, guys asking me about, you know, you know, as far as like how I work, what I put in my body, how I eat, how I recover. And um, I just try to be a resource for them and let them know, you know, what I do and try to help me throughout the week just so I'm ready for Sundays. And um, I feel like guys are trying their best to make sure their body's right week after week so I can go out there and play and uh, help this team win. Is that an area where maybe collectively as an organization you guys could improve upon that? Because Coach Vrabel said that, you know, he would like for people should fall in love more with, you know, the things that, that go into preparing for a game before the game play. Yeah, I think um, Coach Braves just want us to, to and embrace this whole thing um, day by day, what it requires, the grind, um, and, you know, continue to have emphasis on those things just so guys are, you know, available, um, guys are healthy, guys are coming in and doing what they need to do to come out here and compete and um, help us win games. And I think guys are trying their best to, to, to do those things. And, um, you know, you just got to take it one day at a time. But I think – Coach Baby just want us to embrace the grind and you know appreciate you know the game, the the, the highs and lows and the adversity that it brings, and, you know. And uh, I feel like guys are trying their best to do what he's asking.